Okay, hi everyone. Now this is Mister again. So this time I'm not going to talk about the MC questions first. So let's take a look. Uh, interesting questions. So uh, if I raise up a number to you, how do you know that uh that specific number is divisible by three or not? So I will just uh teach you some kind of special skill for this one. So let's start it. Let's say I just give you a number. So this is much more easy. Three to one. Okay, so of course you would say that I just need to use the long division to do Okay, divided by 3 then I, I will exactly know that this one works or not. Okay, like this. Okay, 3 to 1 divide, divide, divide by 3 So we have 1, 3 and 21 here and 0 and 7 and 21 again So I know that okay, this is this number is divisible by 3. Okay, but I don't want you to do this Okay, actually I want you to use a easier, easier method. Okay, so what is that method called? You just need to sum up all the digits right here What you, all you can see here is 3 and 2 and 1, right? So please help me to sum up all of them So what do you get? You get a 6, right? Can 6 divisible by 2? Divisible by 3? Of course, yes, you get two, right? So that's why I would know that if the sum up number, the sum up value is divisible by three, then, which means that this number is divisible by three. So it turns out a very easy method, like when you give you a much larger number, let's say 6,543. So how can I know that this number is divisible by three a lot? Let's do it again. So I will consider one, sing one simple action, 6 plus 5 plus, plus 4 plus 3. So what we have here now is 11, 15, 18. So 18. So 18 divided by 3, what we get is 6. Much easier. So it turns out the result that this one actually is divisible by 3. Understand? Understand what I say? So it's very, very easy method that you can actually do a very, very big number. You can still immediately find out the answer. And some smarter student, they will raise up a question. That means, which means that you, we don't really actually care the sequence of these uh, digits. That means if I just interchange the digits here, like five, six, four, three. So as all the digits sum up is the same as here, right here, right? So, which means that this one, this number must be also divisible by three. Yes, you're right. Actually, a number divisible by three or not is not, is nothing about the, the, the location of the digits. Okay, it's about like uh, the sum up of the number is divisible by three or not, okay? If you really want to know the reason behind this, you can just PM me, I will just teach you slowly about why what is the reason behind this okay but this is much uh, much like uh, a senior form uh, questions okay and this is much harder so I, I need time to explain to you and it takes time okay so uh now you can just make use of this to pray with your friend like i just give you a number like uh two three four five six two three one is it this number this over three or not so that's easy. You just need to 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 2 plus 3 plus 1. Okay, so you get 5, 9, 14, 20, 22, 25, 26. So this number is 26, which is not divisible by 3. Okay, so that means this number must be not divisible by 3. Okay, so I hope like you like this method. Okay, so uh, next time I will just talk about how do we justify a number divisible by 4, divisible by 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, like that, okay? So, hope you like my channel. So, see you all next time. Remember to like my channel and subscribe, okay?